have to be prepared for their, their they have they have great backs and they have great receivers that we have to be prepared for and we just have to tackle better not like we did last week against Baylor. So. Talk about some of the breakdowns you had with the, maybe not being able to hold on third down or you know, allowing the big play. Did that start to affect you guys and later on as the game went on it's or were you just kind of still thinking we can pull this out? I feel like we started slow that game and we still have a lot to improve on and, and I know I know Coach Spence is gonna have a great game plan for us coming this week. And uh, we just have to do a better job than we did last week, like correcting errors we made and making better tackles in open fields. So. How do you think that um, how was your mental state at that point? Uh, last game against Baylor as the game progressed? We got right back, tied 14 all, mm -hmm. um, and then from that point on, it seemed like Baylor was in control the rest of the game. Yeah, you know, I was, I was disappointed in how we were how we were playing. You know, I, I was I was I was mad. I was I was trying to I was trying to focus, saying like what we have to do. Like, I was trying to do the best I can to help my team out. So I just I just felt like felt like we have we had a lot of errors we were making that we still had to fix. So I mean, at halftime we had a couple of adjustment adjustment which kind of helped us out too, but. Uh, we just, uh, Baylor was just a better team that week. So it seems like, uh, or it's likely OU is going to come out with a similar game plan against you guys. Um, what's to keep the same fate from, from happening, Bedlam? Uh, Bedlam, you know, you know, it's crazy stuff happens. Bedlam, you never know what can happen. Um, but uh, we just have to go out there and be the best we can be. We go out there and make better plays, better tackles, and just stop uh, OU. So. Okay. What's your concern about Baker Mayfield and and P. Ryan, and they've got a pretty stout run game, and then they can get you downfield too. So uh, what do you guys have to do on the inside to can at least try to contain that run game? Just do a better job stopping the run. They have, they have bigger backs than Baylor has, so we just have to, like P. Ryan, so we have to do a better job just stopping them in the box and giving, making them one dimension. So that's what we need to do. Have you seen a combo of that stature this season? I mean, that trio is probably going to give you all you want to then some. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't think we've ever, ever I think this this will be one of the best backs we uh, we we faced all season. So how do you slow them down? Just hustle to the ball, run to the ball, effort, outrageous effort. That's what we gotta do. Okay. So um as, as young players, you guys hadn't lost in about a year. Mm -hmm. And then now bouncing back, getting defeated at home, having those national, you know, playoff aspirations. They're still an outside possibility, but having those dashed and then trying to get your mind right, that's gotta be a whole journey in itself this week, not just the physicality of it and getting ready. Oh yeah, you know, you know, uh, you know, it's a tragic loss that we had, but I mean, I know God's going to step up, you know, step up to the plate, you know, we, we, we don't like the feeling of losing, God, we haven't lost in a year now, we just, all of a sudden we just lost at home too, so we're a huge crowd, so, uh, you know, that's actually a motivation factor for us, so, you know, we're going to go out there and give it all our all. So.